What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Mike, and I'm bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Let's play, because we're not doing a Nuzlocke anymore. You always heard about that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and kick things off. We got into the strange gate. It's raining like crazy. We're going to do a quick team recap, and then we're going to go ahead and keep on trucking through here. Of course, we have Birth of the Graveler with Stealth Rock, Rock Throw, Rock Smash, Magnitude. We have Hong, the Hypno, Hypnosis, Disable, Psybeam, and Headbutt. We have Eric, the Vile Plume, Mega Drain, Growth, Cut, Acid. We have X, the Metatype, the Detect, Stacking, Shot, Faint, and Force Palm. We have Gator, our Starter, with Scratch, Ice Fang, Water Gun, Bite. And we have Falcon, the Fletchner, Ember, Roost, Quick Attack, and Pain. That is what we got. And we just got the key, so I think that's the gate. What? Killing blows. All right. Hey, nice job. Yeah, stellar job. Though, how did you get back there in the first place? If we found a way to get back there, I guess we could have just used that. But now that we have that door unlocked, we can just walk through in the front door. Not quite. Huh, why not? Looks like there's a second gate. So, we'll just use the key to open it. Well, it looks like this key doesn't work on this gate. Useless piece of shit! Hey, Venom, what are you doing? Why did you break the key? What does it matter? It only opens up one gate, and we've already used it. But it belongs to someone. Forget about the key. Just find a way to get to the second gate open. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright. Ooh, there's an item right there. I didn't even... Didn't even register in my brain. I was wondering, I was like, man, maybe 7 should have a little bit more than nothing. Increases grass type of you know? Decreases water level. Oh, nice. the cap, dude. Dunzo. You're Dunzo. Gotcha. Alright. Gotta be something else, right? Oh, there's a little writing on the wall right there. Oh, a little bit of hard copy. Not cutting me out, not a little bit. Uh, 
how about how about kitty? Password is hashtag three. Eight. Remember when I had to do the math that day? This game is brutal when it comes to this stuff. So we're gonna write this down. Hashtag three eight one eight seven. Should be interesting. In twisted. I need to go heal. Now that I know where everyone's at. I need to go heal. We can't play these keep losing games. Oh. I was about to say, this is where I need to go. Especially losing Gator. Mm. Not today, son. Not today. Game, I'm just gonna play Rock Smash it till it dies. That's fine. Lower my defenses. You're going down. You're going down. We ain't playing it for nothing. Sneaky as hell, faint. But unfortunately, we're going to have to go through that hedge every time we want to leave. Maybe we could somehow find a key for that game in some way. Anyway, I'm going to go and get the sea of money. We're going to get to the bottom of this no matter what. Okay. Gibberish. 
There's a lot of dark Pokemon, a lot of ghosty, scary Pokemon. Doors are locked too. Jeez. They have both gates and their doors locked. If three teenagers can sneak their way past both gates, I can I can kind of see why. Yes, they're locked because it's private property. Which means we're not supposed to be here unless oh told otherwise. So how about we all get going? Lenny, will you chill out? Nothing bad is going to happen. Stop worrying so much. Fine. I can't see I can't seem to see anything past this window either. There has to be another way in. Hey, over there, do you see that? That window over there, it's open. We could crawl inside using that window. Duh, of course we can. That's why I pointed it out. Let's go. Okay. That is the plan, I guess. Good grief. Would you take a look at this place? This place has very fancy. Maybe we can find something here. We're not looting this place, Lucille. Why not? They're the ones who came here into our turf. It's only fair if we can collect the rent. We don't even know who lives here. This could be the home of some terrorist organization or something. Dude, you're starting to annoy the hell out of me. Stop complaining or go home by yourself. Fine, I'll go along with this, but don't come crying when... Who's there? Um, insolent pest. And what exactly are you four doing in my mansion? Excuse me, sir, we got lost trying to get home and stumbled across this place. Stumbled upon, you deliberately passed through both locked gates and broke into my home. That is far from stumbling upon. You four came here for a reason. Listen up, dude. We're here to collect the rent, bub. You can't just move into our turf without telling us, uh, without paying. How, how'd you build this place in the sewers without anyone noticing? Sewer? Rent? What are you going on about, you blathering idiot? I'm ordering all four of you to leave now. Be grateful that I'm feeling extraordinarily merciful today. We're not leaving. You're on my property, and I demand to be paid for it. So be it. The consequences are on you. What's your name, anyway? My name is Inredad. Inredad Thaleo. You will not forget that name. Okay, Mr. Thaleo. We have a lot of things to discuss. Oh, but we do. We certainly do. Have you children heard of the dual prophecies? The dual prophecies? Yes, the dual prophecies. They're written down in ancient language on the statues outside. There is a prophecy of light and a prophecy of darkness. Both go hand in hand. In the prophecy of light, the world is in paradise. In the prophecy of darkness, the world is in utter despair. Oh, okay, why are you telling us this? In the prophecies, there are mention of eight people. Four lights, four darknesses. That's pretty cliche. Let me guess, though, choosing heroes and villains. Not chosen, only ones that fit the description. It does not necessarily mean one individual. And that description is irrelevant. That's all I have to tell you for now. Since you refuse to leave, I'm afraid that I'll have to take drastic measures to see that you do not escape. escape. What the hell do you mean? As I spoke, my lovely servants have locked both gates and locked, blocked all passageways in between. You're trapping us here? I did not trap any of you. You chose to stay, did you not? I said the consequences were on you. You think we're going? We're just going to give up because you locked some gates? If we have to resort to violence, then violence there shall be. Do you think I'm that ignorant? Fine. If that's the way you want to play the game, then I'll cheat. Maids? Ho! A shadow clone jitsu? Anyway, away with them. We'll need them later for our little ceremony. Ceremony? What are you? Stop! Is there a problem, Master? You there. Forget it. Take them away. Set them free. Hey, are you feeling okay? I'm going to take that as a yes. Listen, I completed your trial and freed you. If you're smart, you'd leave now. You can rest up in the bed if you'd like, but after that, you shouldn't have come here in the first place. If father found out that I rescued you, he would do terrible things. Just get out of here, okay? 
I'm going back to my room. Take out all my Pokemon? No. Is this technician boosted? It is, dude. I knew it. Called that. Well, I'm not leaving without my friends. Sorry, but you're not allowed past this point. Really no, I'm going to, to let you pass this point until you complete my trial. What the fuck is your trial? What are you doing in my room? I finished up your trial and set you free from father's grasp. You shouldn't be here any longer. Your friends, unfortunately, I don't know what I can do about them. They're not anywhere inside the mansion. They're probably located somewhere in the crypts, but going there would basically blow your cover. It's a stupid idea. You should just take this chance and just get out of here where you can. What? You don't have a choice, I see. Well, it would be better to confront my father rather than sneaking around under his nose. It's decided. I'll help you get your friends back, okay? There's no way you can get around the manor by yourself. And there's no way I can do this by myself in general. So we'll team up and find all your friends and get out of here. Oh, how silly of me. I haven't even told you my name. My name is Maria. Oh my god! Marionette. Marionette, that's right. As you probably already concluded, I'm the daughter of Ered. I'm only 10 years old, but I can get things done if I've helped. So help me and I'll help you. My father's room is on the very top floor of this mansion. We'll have to, to do is up... Okay, yes. I'm sure. I lost... Dude, I got tongue tied, man. This is from the girl from the very beginning. Team it up, take down. Okay. Sweet. Is there anything we can do to let you allow this? Hmm, I suppose. And what would that be? Well, if you complete my trial, I'll let you through. Oh, I should have known you made your own thing. Well, let's hear it then. What's your trial? I want you to find another maid somewhere in this mansion. She's been slacking off recently, and it's time for her to fix up her act. If she doesn't, well, let's just say she won't be around much longer. Master, your dad would not be pleased. Fine, we'll find this maid for you. Phantom, I don't know how to explain this exactly, but the maids here in the mansion seem to have some similarities with my father. My father loves to put me through these trials as if they were mini-games. Some of the trials get incredibly dangerous. If you want to help me from any of these maids, you'll probably ask us to complete a trial first. That's just the way it is around here. A world full of never-ending games. Okay, you guys, I know it's short notice, but I gotta end the episode right here. Got some stuff to do. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash the like button. Your support is always greatly appreciated. And with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. And I will see you guys in the next one.